Hello, hello, hello. Yes, it is me, Zooey Mama, and always we are back with another mob tutorial. And you can already see by the thumbnail that we're actually doing the mossy skeleton. But before we get there, I just want to sort of say we're yes, we're actually doing the long flyby. Normally I start halfway down, but I figured it'd be nice for a change just to start from the end of the line here and see the never ending list of mobs that we've actually worked on and built so far so I figured yeah while we're getting on the way down to the mossy skeleton which is towards the end um, I'm just going to sort of briefly tell you about the mossy skeleton because some of you might not already be aware of him some are but Hey, who knows? So the Mossy Skeleton is a mob, a hostile mob from the Jungle Awakens DLC um, for Minecraft Dungeons. So if you haven't played Minecraft Dungeons, this is a, uh, like I said, a new mob um, with the DLC. And um, yeah, the, the main difference is it, it it, it's got green on it <laughs> essentially it looks like it's just come out of a, a jungle well I always think it looks like it's come out of some sort of swamp or something it's been rock knocking around in the bottom of a swamp and it's come out and it's got all seaweed or well it wouldn't be seaweed would it It'd be I don't know this the green sludgy stuff that's in a, that's in a, a swamp uh, lakes let's say so yeah um, seaweed whatever you want to call it fungus I don't know what it is but anyway it's got all that on it so it looks really cool I really enjoyed building this guy actually he, he turned out all right and um here we go, we're just down here. And just before we get there as well, I just want to say I have a Discord page and the link will be in the description. So please um, join the Discord and if you want to share your creations and builds with me, you can. Um, and also be sure to follow me on Twitch as well because I am actually setting up a, um, a streaming schedule on Twitch. So you can actually watch me live and doing a few builds and yeah, just a survival playthrough on Bedrock if you're interested in that. Anyway, we're at the Mossy Skeleton. So what do you think of that? He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? I do you know what? I actually really like this mob. I know I say that all the time anyway, but yeah, he turned out awesome. I actually really like um, the way the green is um, on the mob. Um, I didn't think and originally, I thought oh, it was going to be rubbish, but actually, it actually turned out really cool. I really do like this one. But anyway, I think enough of me talking. Let's get down to the colours and blocks that you'll need for this build, shall we? Two grey concrete, 173 clay, 94 light grey wool, 72 light grey concrete, just 10 black concrete, 55 green terracotta, 60 green concrete, 106 lime terracotta, and 22 cyan terracotta, and that should be all of the blocks you'll need for today, but just bear in mind I've had to count all these blocks out myself, so it might not be 100% exact, so do have a few spares just in case. Okay, so starting with our clay, we're going to place one like that, with a light grey wall next to it, then we're going to go light grey concrete, place two. Then back to our clay, we're going to do like an L shape like that. Light grey wool on top of that, and then one on top again. Lime terracotta this time, followed by green concrete, do a line across. Lime terracotta, we're going to go up by a total of five blocks. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. Switch to our clay again, we're going to go one, two, like that. And then light grey wool, one, two on there. And then finish it off with a little bit of green concrete. So that's the first sort of front of the leg done. And now what we're going to do is going to go one, two, and we're going to build on the third block. So there should be a two block gap in between. And essentially we're going to copy the same pattern across, but opposite. So wool, clay, and then some light grey concrete. And then the clay is going to go the opposite way this time. So the little L's shaped backwards. The two wool in the centre there. And then lime terracotta, green concrete, and then we go lime terracotta, go up by five again, remember? And then we're going to go green concrete there, followed by some um, light grey wool, and then followed by two clay. And there we go, that's the front of our legs complete. So spinning on to the back of the build, some of this section along the bottom you can actually just fill in yourself. So all we're going to do is copy the same blocks across, so the grey, the wool there, the grey there, the clay here and the wool. So all the grey bit on the bottom half you can copy in across from the opposite side. This is where it slightly changes, so lime terracotta, green concrete, lime terracotta again. And then next to that we're going to go one, two, three, four lime terracotta. 
okay and then we're going to switch to our light gray wall this time and put one there followed by three clay and then on this side we're just going to fill it in with green concrete so that top section slightly changes so again we're going to do the same we can copy the same blocks across from the opposite side as you can see that's all i'm doing clay and then the walls so all that gray is all the same then this bit changes so lime terracotta there and there green concrete there followed by lime terracotta which goes up by four if you remember then we're going to top on that with some green concrete on top and then this section here we're just going to put in a little bit of grey wool and then top it up with clay and that should be both legs looking identical but opposite to each other so there we go we'll give it a little twirl there we go looking nice okay i cannot stress enough we are not using this blue block to build with okay so we're just going to measure things out so you want to come out from the front of the legs by one block so it should be eight blocks across in total and 12 high so it should be overhanging the legs by either side by one block and the front by one block and and you could use dirt or any other block you want, but I'm using this just because it's easier to build this section because there's so many gaps. So punch out these first three blocks and we're going to put clay there. And then we're going to now go to light grey concrete, put one there, followed by a lime terracotta, followed by a light grey wool. Oh, I didn't mean to punch it out again. Um, then a clay and then on the end there we're going to use a lime terracotta. Knock out these three blocks and lime terracotta again and go up by one, two blocks there. So it should be three up in total. Then coming back to this section, light grey concrete. And then we're going to go grey wool and then followed by a clay there. So that's sort of the waste section done. Above that lime green there, we're going to put now two green terracotta on top. And then to the left of that, we're going to go lime terracotta. And then to the right, this time we're going to skip a block and we're going to come down by three and put three lime in there. On top of that, you want to put a green terracotta. To the right, you want to do a clay just there and then knock out these three blocks and we're going to actually just put a bit of lime terracotta in there as well. Okay, so now using your clay, we're going to now place a few of them down. So we're going to go from the top here one there one above that on the diagonal one down below on the diagonal and then above that green terracotta we're going to place two there like that and then to the end of the build we're going to put one on the end looking like that there we go now switching to our lime terracotta this time again we're going to put one on that diagonal there we're actually going to put one in there okay and then above that we're going to place one there and then we're going to put a green concrete like so Okay, we can knock out these two blocks, the two blocks above and the two blocks to the right. And we're actually going to put a little bit of light grey concrete in their replacement. There we go. There we go, if I can place blocks right. There we go, so you should have something looking like that. Very good, very nice. Knock out this block, lime terracotta is going to go there and then followed by a load of green terracotta wrapping around it. Okay, to the other side, we're going to do green concrete and then we're going to do a light grey, oh, sorry, <laughs> lime terracotta next to it. There we go. And then clay again underneath there. We're going to place, put three. And then to the right hand side, we're going to put one there. We're nearly done now. Two clay just on the corner there. And then on the opposite corner, do the exact same with the green. So now what I'm going to do is just knock out all of those blue blocks that we didn't actually need in the first place. And like I said, the only reason why I did that is because it was easier to teach you how to build this build um, rather than trying to explain with all these air gaps because it does get a little bit confusing. So now you can actually see the final picture. Okay, now, so from the bottom of the build, we're just going to bring this block across and it should be overhanging the back of the legs by one block. So it should be in total four blocks and you're going to pull that one across there and also there so you should have something looking like that that's the guy's hips I guess if you want to call him hips or his waist so from the bottom of this section we're going to start building across so light grey wall lime terracotta followed by green concrete then followed by clay also we're going to use a little bit of light grey concrete and then followed by lime terracotta above that we're going to go light grey wool and then we're going to go clay next to that and then also some light grey wool and we're going to actually just go up by two there lime terracotta there and then light grey wool and just a clay in there i know it gets a bit confusing switching all colors now we're going to do two clay and then on this right hand side we're going to do three clay and then next to that we're actually going to do a light grey wool on top of that lime terracotta we're going to do two of those lime terracottas and then a light grey wall to top it off and yes we're actually building up the spine section at the minute that's what we're actually working on all right um on top of this we're going to do lime uh, i keep getting the words <laughs> green concrete sorry um light grey concrete to the right of it 
some clay on top and then we're just going to top this off with some lime terracotta some light gray concrete again and then we're going to switch to a green concrete there and also lime terracotta then we're going to go light gray wool on top and that will finish off the spine section there we go looking good to the left now you can actually pull these across these are the ribs all right so pull them all the way to the back and in line with the build bring it all the way back and then put one block facing inwards like so all right and then you can just fill those two blocks in with light gray concrete okay so to the next rib we're going to actually pull that all the way across and then bring it in by one and then do a light gray concrete there but the opposite side slightly different we're going to pull the rib all the way across again but this time on the inside block you're going to put a green terracotta followed by a light gray concrete connecting that section up underneath you're going to do two green concrete followed by a lime terracotta there we go, so you should have something looking like that. This light grey concrete, you want to put one in just there. And where this lime green terracotta is, you can actually just um, fill that up with clay all the way to the end. That should match nicely inside because these skeletons do have three ribs. That is the bottom rib of the build. So on the opposite side, again, you can pull that clay all the way across. Um, and then this time, we're actually going to just from the block just above here, we're going to put green terracotta followed by green concrete, um, which is two blocks. Um, and then also we were actually going to just get a bit light green, uh, light grey concrete just to fill in that section there. And that is the back of the ribs done. God, sorry, I'm, I'm tongue twisting <laughs> quite a bit here. And yeah, I love how that green just like sort of looks like it's falling off the body. It looks awesome. But anyway, let's get back onto the build. So, so come one block in from the front of the build and we're going to do two green terracotta followed by one underneath. And then followed by a green concrete there, lime terracotta just there and then light gray concrete there and there. Using light gray wool, just you can place one there. Now back to our clay, we're gonna go two, then we're gonna come down by one, two, three blocks, and then come across, and then down by one as well. This little block here, you can put two um, gray wool just in there to fill that gap, and then back underneath, a gray wool either side there, and then a light gray concrete, followed by some green concrete, and then switch into a light gray wool again, and then we're going to just top it off with green terracotta underneath. So that's the front of the first arm done. And all we're going to do now is literally swing on to the back side and do the other side as well. And the other side's relatively straightforward. It's it's mainly, mostly the same, should I say. So these sections here, you can see I'm just copying the same block across that's opposite. So lime green, grey concrete, grey concrete, wool and then this section is going to be slightly different so put two clay there this time we're actually going to put a, um, a light gray wool there there and there and then a clay there and now the rest of it all the way down is exactly the same as the block in front of it so there you go wool and then concrete gray green green yep yeah, god i'm spitting my words like wrong but anyway you get the picture right apart from that middle section in the back of the arm um the rest of it is all pretty much the same so now spinning on to the right hand side, we're pretty much going to replicate what we've already done, but opposite, okay? So one block in from the front of the build, we're going to use our green terracotta, I keep forgetting the names, and it's going to do an L shape like that. Lime green terracotta there, and then green concrete underneath, followed by a little bit of light gray concrete there and there, then light gray wool, and this is where it slightly differs, remember? So you're going to do two clay, come down by three clay, one in, there we go, looking good. And then from underneath that, we're going to do one there, followed by two light gray wool again, and one there, and one like that. And then light gray concrete there, followed by a green concrete, then lime terracotta and to top it off some green terracotta and that is the front of our first arm and as you can see it's pretty much opposite to the first arm we've done. Spinning on round to the back again same old story um, most of it's the same apart from this sort of middle section so these blocks you can actually copy across from the opposite block that you can see in front of you like that and this is where it's going to slightly change right so two clay and then we're going to get our wall this time go one two three there and then clay in there and then the rest now is all exactly the same as what you can see in front of you there we go look at that nice and quick this bit isn't it there we go 
and top it off with a green tarot card. And there we go. Boom. We've got ourselves our skeleton body with his two arms. All we need to do is whack on this guy's head and we are done with the tutorial. So again, we're not using this blue block to build with. Remember, I'm just using it there just to guide you and show you what we're doing and how the measurements work out. So what we want to do is essentially the front and the back of the build, we want to overhang by two blocks because this is where the heads go in. So it should be eight blocks across and it also should be eight blocks tall, okay? And for anyone new around here, this is how my tutorials normally are. So what we're going to do is nice a nice pause section, what I like to call it. So I'm going to zoom in now. I'm going to put you, all you're going to do now is pause the video. You're going to copy that pattern down. You can clearly see what colors you need. The grid pattern even breaks it up to see how many blocks you need. And all you're going to do is unpause that video now, spin on around to the right hand side. And again, we're going to do a nice little pause section and you can pause it there because you know, I've just told you the build is eight blocks high and eight blocks wide so you know the dimensions you can clearly see the colors so it's quite a nice easy way to sort of do a, a nice big section like this without me painstakingly trying to tell you block by block placement because this this bit's quite easy really it's quite um a nice flat structure there's no gaps or holes so we don't have to worry about that it's just literally copying it down and moving on and there we go the last side is all done and all we're going to do now once we've done this side is we're going to spin on round to the front and we're going to sort of have a nice little bird's eye view looking down on the top of the skeleton's head this time there we go so looking down from the front of the build looking down and there we go nice all good and um yeah pfft, what i don't know what's more so there's not really much more to say is there um that's your build pretty much complete i just want to say though you might want to add underneath the chin area you don't it's not compulsory you don't have to but i um like to put a strip of clay just along the base there just to make it look like he's got some sort of head although he is quite hollow on the inside but i'll leave that up to you you can leave it blank or you can fit it in and the back side i use a little bit of clay all the way across there and there we have it, we have got the mossy skeleton all complete. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. And anyway, I've been Zooey Mama and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.